Yes, for sure. Thank you so much for, for having me here today. It's, it's great to, to be here. Um, I'm tuning in from London. Um, uh, my name is Ashan, uh, 18 years old. Um, and I can speak a bit about sort of how, how amazing it was the youth engagement this year at CSW. And I think one thing we have to remember and recognize is that having access to the UN and to these commissions and spaces and networks and individuals is very much a privilege in itself. There's a lot of young people you know, who can't have access to these spaces, who don't have access. And one of the you know, most powerful things I think about youth engagement this year was those community level consultations that we had across the world, organized by young people on the ground, working with the front lines in the climate action and gender equality spaces that informed our global youth recommendations and our advocacy at CSW um, this year. And I think it was something so you know, powerful about bringing those grassroots voices, the voices that really matter, those young people's voices, their expertise to the international space, to the global arena, and then working directly, you know, sitting with member states. And we are so grateful to, to Maris and, and all the member states who, you know, sat with us, they listened to us, they read our, you know, red line text that we kept um, filling their inboxes with. Um, and then they took it a step beyond, you know, they acted on it. And, and even our civil society friends, you know, Hurry and, and, and JCSW, the Women's Rights Caucus, they, you know, supported our language suggestions um, and they included it in their text sort of markups. And the member states took it behind the closed doors to the negotiations and they really pushed for our voices to be heard. And I think there's something so um, landmark about sort of that intergenerational action that happened this year at CSW 66. So actually we as young people were moving from just being observers and you know, watching this process unfold to actually being actively involved um, in sort of the decision making around what the outcomes would be. And of course, one of those um, outcomes was this inclusion of, of this dialogue um, outlined in the methods of work. And I think, you know, we as national gender youth advocates within UN Women, but also the wider youth networks are looking forward to working with, you know, UN Women and, and civil society partners and, and member states to really ensure that this dialogue is as inclusive as, as inclusive and representative as possible. Um, but again, a lot to learn from this year, CSW 66, in terms of youth engagement and participation, a lot of successes, but a lot of challenges as well. And I think one of those challenges was capacity. You know, we were coming into this process having no clue how to mark up a text. Um, you know, we weren't familiar with agreed language. Um, and actually it was the training sessions held by UN Women throughout the sort of the two week period of CSW 66 that really helped us. And I think we need to see more of that, that intergenerational learning where our friends in civil society uh, and in UN Women and member states are really giving us those top tips on how to best influence the outcomes of, of CSW. And of course, we look forward to starting the process on, on working on CSW 67 um, and beyond too.